Hi guys, hope you're all doing well. Today, I'm going to be having a rant about periods. Uh, ah! Okay, you can stop now. Do we really have to talk about this? Yes, yes we do. <clears throat> As of late, um, I seem to have been noticing people's reactions towards periods more for some reason. Whether that's people I know, the media, so the internet, um, society in general. The reactions aren't necessarily negative, but I suppose people do want to keep the subject on the down low. There was a picture in a magazine quite a few years ago of a pair of legs and a string protruding from between the legs, a tampon, obviously. And the magazine article was discussing the dangers of tampons. A lot of the readers were horrified by this picture. More recently, we've had the picture from Instagram of the girl lying down on the bed with the stain in her trousers. And Instagram removed this picture because it was deemed inappropriate. A lot of people spoke out against this because why should periods be seen as something that can't be talked about? This vexes me because you and I both know that periods are completely normal. Periods are quite amazing if you think about it because, um, hello, we're just trying to do our job for the human race here. Periods mean we can have children and do you know how amazing that fact is? Vaginas are magical. There's pictures everywhere, in magazines, on the internet, advertisements and commercials of women that might as well be naked. Women are being sexualized and objectified, but God forbid we should portray something that is 100% normal and biological. If I was to cut myself really badly, a lot of people would probably come up to me saying, oh my gosh, are you okay? That looks so horrible. It looks really painful. Do you want me to get you a plaster? Thank you, kind people. If I was to get a period now, people would be like, oh, you're on your period. Oh, oh, sorry. Oh, oh, okay, that's your problem. Um, what? I, should I get you a pad? Oh, um, I don't have any, sorry. They haven't even seen the damn blood and they're already acting weird about it. There's not really much sympathy apart from between females, you know? But it's okay, you know? I don't even want your sympathy because I have to deal with this once a month for God knows how many years, for the rest of my life, not exactly the rest of my life, but you know what I mean. I'm used to this now. I can handle this, okay? But it would be nice if you just didn't act so weird about it, for goodness sake. People might try and, well, I don't know if people would, but I'm just making this comparison, between having a period and pooing. So essentially the blood from a period and poo from going to do a number two are both waste, right? We don't really like to talk about poo, do we? But when we do talk about it, it's usually in a humorous sense. You also have to remember that poo is literally waste. A period is consisting of blood. Blood is very valuable. Blood has a lot of properties. That blood was there for a reason, but it just turns out that we didn't need it anymore. It's okay, you two, my time's gonna come, don't you worry, you just keep doing your thing, you know? I got you. I don't know, when we go to the toilet and we do a poo, I would say the session lasts max half an hour, right? Unless you're just constipated. A period is something that is consistent. We have it for a week, every month. You should be aware of it. And if you want to take the poo comparison further, if I go to a public toilet, there's toilet paper for everyone. I could steal some toilet paper. It wouldn't be a big deal. I don't know why I would, but you never know. So why do we have to pay for pads and tampons from that little machine? It could be an emergency. I might not have change on me. You can't really compare them. I know I just did, but I'm trying to make a point here. I think it depends on your personal preference. I mean, some people like talking about going to the toilet. I don't have an issue with that personally. Shout out to my friend Shannon, who is always going on about going and doing a poo. We have discussions about the types of poos. I'm sorry if that sounds gross, but I don't think it's a big deal. It's not that deep, okay? It's not that deep. I never thought I'd be talking about poo so much in a video. So don't feel ashamed when you walk into a supermarket. You have to buy some sanitary products. We kind of tend to go into the supermarket and like get the pads, kind of hide them under our arm. When we get to the checkout, we're like, yes, pads, yes, okay. Bread, milk, eggs, apples, pads, cheese. Don't be ashamed. Be proud. 
that you are a magical creature that can produce another human. The human race needs you. Okay, yes, the world is kind of overpopulated, but you know what I'm saying. I mean, look at this. This is not something to be scared of. Everyone should stop oh, getting so wound up about periods. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Please leave a comment, subscribe, like this video if you did like it, and I will see you next time.